<sighs> One thing I have learned in the last couple of years, especially in the last year or two, uh, because I've been, I've been writing and uh, performing and mentioning that her mic's still on. Subtle. I've been, I've been writing a lot, and you know, you, when you come up with an idea for a show, it's, it's the beginning's easy once you start. <laughs> once I look at you and say, please come play with me, and you say yes. <laughs> Yahtzee, we got him. Opa, Batman, we got him. Doesn't matter what we do from there, something good will bubble to the top, and the idea of this place has always been, at that point, to, to kind of take that and, and and we would, we'd always say uh, from the very beginning that this place was a nursery. We'd, we'd put that in the ground and we'd let it grow and that would become something truly great. And I, I figured out something while I was away. I completely misunderstood the value of this place. It is, it is not, in fact, a nursery. Because a nursery is this thing you run making babies. And then they... Sorry? Not my job. My job is to help people get better. And when we started this thing, I, I've said it a million times, we were a juggling club that wanted to come in out of the rain. Quite literally, it was raining and somebody said, want to run a theater show. We'd never done a stick of theater. And we said, of course, we're perfectly trained to do that. <laughs> it is the only lie we've told in the course of about four and a half years. And when we started, we were told we would have three, maybe six months to prove ourselves. And that turned into where you are now, which is four and a half years. And we always thought, oh man, you know, maybe three to five years and we'll, we'll call it a day. We didn't know, we, you don't know. And as we went along, we realized this thing became so much more. There's a family here. Everybody gets to know each other. Everybody falls in love with each other. Everybody builds things. I've seen People come in here and start bands and improv troops and theater projects. We started a circus in this very room. We had a real, I mean, take a minute and be a little kid for just one second and think about the fact that we started a circus. There wasn't one and now there is. And that circus has gone on to teach, to create other events and opportunities, to create narrative theater, legit theater, not this, which is drunk theater. Hey, it's good drunk theater. Okay, tipsy theater. With a lot of heart. And what I realized is that this thing, it's not a nursery, it's a chrysalis. You know, it's a little cocoon. We, something got inside and, and it grew and it evolved and it changed and we came out different. The people who run this thing are now primarily member, either active performing members of the Circus Freaks or they are members of our tech crew who are also training to become performers or, or, or chase their dreams. Alicia, uh, you know, handles all of our media, is also working to be a puppeteer and a ukulele player. Sticks is a percussionist. Frankie handles sharp objects and it's scary and I don't like to spend a lot of time dwelling on it because I'm always scared she's gonna kill herself. And then I throw knives at her, it's weird. Uh, but we've done around, oh, right, right, around, around, sorry. Good tip, around the sword swallower, important. Um, but we do all of these amazing things. Brett has gone from being the guy in the back of the band to being, to being up front. And now he is the band. And he's, in addition to that, he's gone on to, to clown school and he's starting to work with us and we're gonna actually get him sped up and ready uh, to work with us full time. In addition to that, he's also now the captain of an improv team. So that's a, that's a new thing that he hasn't talked about much yet. In, in seven words, he's like a tank. Yes, that is correct. Thank you. Yes. In, in, in stepping back for a minute and seeing all of the things we built, two things became real clear. One, this is important. And when we started, there was nothing like this. So you would have to explain, you'd spend half an hour trying to explain what essentially is an open mic where you're allowed to do stuff other than poetry and music. And it would take us 20 minutes to explain that to people. Well, it's not like it's like, like this, but it's like because we took all the good stuff and we got rid of all the crap in the process. 
And we kept doing that until we got something good. There are now events, and not just like somewhere in the world far away. There's an event in Fort Worth that is using this model to allow performers an opportunity to do this kind of work. I think that's awesome. I don't think that's something to go, hey, you took my idea. We put our ideas into the Creative Commons. We gave the ideology. There's 10 rules on the door. I hope you follow them outside here. If you don't, that's fine too. But they're good rules to work by, if not live by. Just be positive. I mean, get to all this, and I realize there's work we all want to do that we can no longer do here. I have to be a host every week, and a producer, and a media manager, and it's taken time away from writing. Um, all of our performers are tired because they get here at 4.30 and they leave here about 2 or 3 in the morning. That's what our day looks like on Monday. And then we start our week. And not all of us have the luxury I do of being able to, to you know, sleep in on Tuesday. Some of them have to get up and go to work. <laughs> I don't know how they do it other than the word youth. I don't have that. And so I step back and I realize I think it is time to let this come to a close. And so we are going to run for about another month, and I believe it's the second week in August, and we are going to shut down the open stage. Let me, let me speak to Boo, because Boo is important. Well, it's my first time, so... Boo. Precisely. More importantly, there is so much going on in our community. This community doesn't stop existing. We're going to get together tomorrow, and those of us who are practicing physical arts are going to be working our butts off at the gym. Wednesdays twice a month, we're teaching improv, and we're going to start transitioning that as well into opportunities to learn devised work, which is sketch comedy, skits, I don't like the word skit, numero maybe, but starting to do more serious work in those spaces. We also have a flagship new show in a historic action. I mean, this is a dance hall. We have an actual theater, and we just finished installing rigging there, which means we can now bring high-level acrobatic and aerial performances into our big theater show, which is once a month over at uh, the Plaza Event Art Center in, uh, in Carrollton. So what happens now is we stop churning. We take a step back, and we start writing and doing and building, and it sucks. You're right, it sucks. It was the hardest thing to ever have to decide on, and the first time I decided on it was two years ago when we lost our first space, and everybody told me no. Before you get any good ideas, I'm not going to listen if you tell me no now. Uh, but instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, we're going to run for a month, like I said, if you haven't been on this stage, you got a month. Get on video, get in the show, and then more importantly, get with us. We have, there's something almost every day of the week you can be a part of this, and we need people. Believe it or not, some of the reason we're doing this is we've grown so fast that we're going to go around and find all the talented people in this room and tap them quietly on the shoulder and say, hey, that thing you did or you're doing, we want to help you develop that so we can book it and hire it. I didn't plan to end up in this seat, but I did. I ended up in charge of a circus. Now I want to see what we can do outside of a space that is made out of cocktails and training wheels. I have yet to have met anybody in this room I haven't completely fallen for. And I want to thank you for four and a half years of just nonstop mind-blowing entertainment. And I've watched so many people grow. And my commitment is that none of you will go without an opportunity for growth. I just want to stop and think about how can we more effectively grow from here. You kind of know what I mean? Yeah. So, let's not go out going, because we're not, we're going out strong. But let's go out like we mean it, put on a month of killer shows, and then let's get to work. Sound good? Yeah. So as I say every week, and just for a few more times, thank you all for coming. Good night.